God said I can't fight no more. But listen, thank y'all. Y'all so sweet. Thank y'all. I'm tired. And I'm, I'm tired. I am tired of this ex two year superstar. Two year superstar. One album, three singles, three features. Still bragging about that one album that you sold the publishing rights to because you needed the money. Who sells out that fast? You have one album. Okay, so regardless if you love or hate her, we definitely know her name and that is Miss Tasha K. Now, I saw that Tasha K was trending on Twitter and she was looking a bit homely. Like usually her lighting be on point and her background or set looks nice. So I clicked on the trend and found out that she dipped and went to Africa. I'm out! Yeah, Tasha K done took her ass over to Africa because she owed Cardi B, allegedly. But no, seriously, she went over to Africa to enjoy her trip abroad and to clear her head. And I mean, I guess so. You nearly, or you owe nearly $4 million to this woman for talking reckless. And you were making all kinds of accusations. Now, I'm gonna just be honest. It was real interesting. Is some of the stuff that she was saying sounds believable? Uh, yeah. But if you don't have proof beyond a shadow of a doubt, then you need to learn how to say the words allegedly. Allegedly, allegedly, that's ignorant. But it was a little more than Tasha K not saying the word allegedly. I mean, she was literally saying that Cardi B had herpes, if you guys recall. And I'm sitting up here like, you can't just say that woman has herpes and you don't have any proof. Um, back then when she had like Star Marie on there and Star Marie was kind of saying these things. Like, you can't say that stuff because if it turns out not to be true, then look what's happening now. She done threw a suit on you. And I don't know what else uh, Tasha K was saying, but I remember it was an all day Cardi B fest. So I don't know if that was just a part of Tasha K's game or what she had in store or why she had such a hard on for Cardi, but she was definitely just every other day talking about her. And it seemed like, okay, it went from entertainment, gossip news, to you just keep talking about this woman and I guess, hey, like anybody else, regardless if you're a celebrity, you're going to get fed up if people just keep talking about you. That's understandable. But we really kind of have to look or keep up with this case just a little bit. Because anybody that's doing any type of talking, like are you going to be slapped with a lawsuit? Here's my thing. You can have your opinion. Your opinion is not illegal. But when you try to present your opinion as facts when it comes to somebody else's name, then it can get into being defamatory. So that's just how I think um, it goes. If anybody has any opinions on that or knows, you know, let me know. But that's how I think it goes. Like uh, opinions are not illegal, but it's just when you keep trying to present it as facts and you pretty much lying on a person then a person does have um, full rights to throw a defamation suit on you. Also, I want to add that from my understanding, I thought defamation suits mainly dealt with if a person lied on you and it affected your business or it caused other people to be biased towards you to where they didn't want to do business with you, that that was a defamation suit. Um, but however, Cardi B... Uh, said, and I read in a TMZ article, yes, messy TMZ, that Cardi B said that she had suicidal thoughts based off of what Tasha K was saying. And I'm like, why would you have suicidal thoughts based off of what Tasha K was saying? But at the time that she had those thoughts, she had just had her child. So you never know what a person is going through. She could have been dealing with postpartum and then you're hearing somebody like you know putting dirt on your name so it could have been a lot that was going on 
we really need to low key keep up with this case because it's going to set a precedent. I mean, you heard Tasha K. She said that she is not giving up, even though she lost her appeal. She's going to continue to fight until she cannot fight anymore. And what's so crazy is Cardi B is really serious about getting her funds. I mean, she has it set up to where she has garnished Tasha K's bank account or supposedly garnishing Tasha K's bank account. So she's trying to really get her money by all means necessary. Anyway, if you did enjoy this, please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. And whose side are you on? Are you on anyone's side? I mean, is it freedom of speech? Is it too far? You know, let me know. Until next time, bye.